Well, hello, friends, and welcome to Did You Art, the channel for people who don't take themselves or their artwork too seriously. So, one of the things I often preach, I guess you could say, to my clients is that A, we need to spend time every single day doing some type of artwork or doing something that's creative, and B, if you're in a poopy mood, you should paint how you feel. Just paint how you feel. It takes the power out of it. Sometimes you can have a sense of humor about it and it just kind of lightens up the whole mood. So this past week has been kind of a poop show for me. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to draw and paint how I feel. So we're gonna do the rainbow poop emoji. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to draw and paint with watercolor the poop emoji. Now, I wanted to do a little spin on the poop emoji and make it a cosmic spiritual poop emoji. Because even though I've been feeling like poop, I still feel very spiritual and in line with the universe. So hence the rainbow swirl poop, and we're gonna put it on a nice cosmic galaxy background. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is obviously get the shape of the poop emoji. It's pretty simple. We can just say it's like a little drop of ice cream, I guess you could say. Start at the top, F figure out how big you want your pile of poop to be. Mine is pretty big because I've had a lot of poop thrown at me this past week. So I'm gonna have my poop emoji fill the whole page. And I'm just looking to see how many little swirls there are in my poop, goes all the way down. There's about, let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, if you count the little thing on top. And just really lightly sketch it in. I'm using just a cheapo mechanical pencil that my mom got me from Amazon. I think it's from uh, Japan. I think these are actually the scented ones that I got because everybody needs a scented mechanical pencil. It's really important. This one I think smells like birthday cake. Anyway, now my pencil bag smells like, like a fake birthday cake, fake scents. Anyway, okay. So we got the shape in. Here come the eyes. You can figure out how you want your poop emoji to feel, what expression it's going to have. I'm just gonna keep mine the happy, kind of shell-shocked look. So big eyes, big pupils, and a big happy mouth. Because honestly, that's kind of the expression I've been wearing on my face all week. And you know what's weird is pretty much everybody I've talked to this week has had just a strange strange week, a strange couple of days. And I know that there's like five planets in retrograde, whatever that means. And then we had a lunar eclipse, I guess. And I'm not a astrology expert. I don't even pretend to know what the heck I'm talking about. But all I know is it's been really weird. I have had stuff happen to me that you can't even believe. I mean, it's so crazy. It's funny. And everyone I've talked to has had pretty much a similar week, different circumstances, but just weird stuff happening to them. And it's really easy to get into kind of a dark place and be like, why is all this negative crap happening to me? But I find that when we just embrace these types of situations head on, really look at it from a logical and rational perspective, it takes the power out of it. And I also find that if you have a sense of humor about just garbage that's happening to you, that also takes the power out of it. So this is why I wanted to do this exercise today because maybe you're like me and having one of those weeks, one of those days. If you are, paint the poop emoji. Paint the poop emoji. Okay, so now we're picking out the colors. I've got my messy little Jane Davenport watercolor tins there. You'll notice that there's no swatches in there. This is something that I thought when I first got watercolors, these watercolors, I'm like, I don't need to swatch these out. Yeah, no, you do. Because otherwise you have no idea what kind of color you're using, what kind of um, transparency the, wa the paint's gonna have. It's just more helpful. So this is something that I'm actually working on right now is a swatch book for all of the watercolors that I've purchased. And I may film another video on that process. Okay, so now we're gonna start filling in the poop emoji with our beautiful rainbow colors because I think this poop emoji is just full of conflicting emotions, right? It wants to be positive and happy, so it's got those nice bright colors in it, but then it's also got some of those darker shades, some blues, it's feeling a little blue, some purples, 
but it does have the yellow on top because it wants to be sunny. It wants to be happy and lighthearted and bright. So I'm just going to go ahead, dip my brush in the water, dip my brush in the paint, and start laying my first wash. Now, I don't pretend to be a watercolorist. I've mentioned that in other videos. I am not a pro as far as this goes by any means. In fact, I just got into watercolor a couple months ago. I always thought that I hated watercolor because it's so fluid, it's so watery, and I didn't like that you really couldn't control the paint. I have typically use acrylic paint or pan pastels or just alcohol markers. So watercolors always kind of freaked me out because I felt like the water would just do whatever the heck it wanted and you'd have no control over it. But one day I kind of pushed myself to give it a try and I loved it. It's very freeing actually to lose that control. And honestly, you can control it. There's just, it's a different method. It's a different way than when you're using like acrylic paints. Um, but it's really nice. It's a really good way if you're like me and you're a massive control freak, especially in your day-to-day -day life with like my business and um, things that I do on a daily basis, it's just a good way to kind of give up that control, to relinquish uh, control over to the universe, to your watercolors, to the water that you're using, to the brush, and just be like, okay, whatever happens is going to happen. And whatever the result is, that's what it's going to be. That I've got my rainbow poop emoji all squared away, I thought I'd dive right in and get the galaxy background going. Now, as you'll see here in a second, I screwed up and I was impatient and didn't wait for my poop emoji to dry completely. And as a result, some of the cosmic galaxy background actually bleeds into the poo. Now, maybe that's okay because we're all connected to the universe, even piles of poo. Um, but normally when it comes to watercolor, you definitely want to wait for one section to be dry before you start applying another wash or another color. See, you can see I'm doing it right there. It just kind of starts bleeding into the green, but oh well, that's okay. All that matters is that we're arting, we're spending time being creative, and we're just putting down on paper what we feel. So for the background, I'm using a dark blue, a dark purple, and a nice hot pink. I always have some kind of pink color on all of my paintings, it feels like. And I'm keeping things really wet, really fluid. I'm letting the colors bleed in together because it's a galaxy and everything is, is one. It all kind of mushes together and forms this big, beautiful universe. So I'm just going through, covering the page, allowing the water to flow. Unfortunately, it's flowing a little too much into the poop, as you can see there. But it doesn't matter because it's a very relaxing process. And if you're ever just stuck and not really sure what you want to do um, as far as an uh, art journal background or a page goes, try doing this galaxy. It's really fun, it's easy, and it's very relaxing and therapeutic. So what I'm going to do now is use my white India ink. I have an old, very stiff brush. And you can use a toothbrush if you want to. I didn't have any uh, toothbrushes available. But you just take a brush and you use your finger and you make little splats of color, little splats of white stardust all around your background. 
those are the stars. Those could be planets. Who knows? In fact, you can make big drops, little drops. It's your galaxy. Do whatever the heck you want. Just be careful. Um, I actually got some galaxy in my poop emoji's eye. Typically, I think I've seen people do this background prior to painting their focal point, but whatever. We're arting. It's just a trial and error process we learn as we go, and it's fun. Now, once you've let your background dry and you're happy with it, you can go through with a black pen and outline your poop emoji like I did, but really it's up to you and how you want your page to look. And that, my friends, is a cosmic rainbow poop emoji. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and make sure you join our Facebook group. Until next time, take it easy and make sure to art.